Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on, let's make this thing. Okay guys, so here's what we'll be using today to make our fish cake panchan. So these are the fish cakes. They come in these sheets and I found them at the Asian market. Two, three, four. Okay, so I have five sheets here and it came in a package like this. Okay, it says that this is 14 ounces. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me tell you, this might look a little bit weird, but the first time I had this at um, at a Korean restaurant, I was like, what is that? And how do I get more? I absolutely loved it. And they served it in strips, so like this. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. And panchan is like a side dish. So usually with Korean meals, there are lots and lots of little side dishes um, that you get served with your main course. Okay, so I have this chopped up here. And usually this is blanched in hot water because on the, on the surface of it, I guess, to stop it from sticking together until we're ready to use it, they plaster it with oil. So just to take off the surface area, the oil on the surface, it's blanched. So I have my kettle there with already with hot water. And I'm just going to basically pour the hot water over this just to rinse off that um, the film. And then we'll move on. So this really does not have a very strong fishy smell at all and it's made of fish that's made into little pieces and I think it's mixed with um, potato starch and some other spices or something and it's made into that sheet. Okay so let me just run my water over it and I'll be right back. Alright so I have my fish draining there so we're gonna work on our stuff that we're gonna saute in the stir fry. Just wanna cut our onion this way into pieces like that, like the size of your finger. Let me do the other half. here a jalapeno. I'm using this for color basically. I'm going to cut them into strips like so. Okay and let me do the other half. And I have some red peppers also. I'm going to cut those into strips. Alright, so our fish cake is drained and ready to go. And I don't, don't know if, this is, if I mentioned this is called emok. Alright, now I have here a little knob of ginger. Probably going to end up being about a teaspoon or a little more. And four cloves of garlic. I'm just going to get that grated up here. And then we'll move on to cooking. Alright guys, so I have a frying pan here on high heat and I have a couple of tablespoons of oil, just regular vegetable oil and I'm going to go in with our onions and ginger garlic and I'm just going to saute this until everything becomes fragrant, it's starting to sizzle already. I just want to flavor that oil with um, with my onion and my other aromatics and I will come on back when we're ready to go to the next step. All right, so now my onion has started to become translucent and you can really smell all of the amazing flavors. We're gonna, oops, go in with our emok. And we're just gonna saute this around. Should have possibly had a bigger pan, but that's alright. We'll make it work. 
because I'm gonna do this I would say for two or three minutes and I'll come on back all right now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my peppers I left them for last because I wanted them to still have a crunch and a bright vibrant color so our dish can look appealing and taste appealing all right oh that smells so good already I know it doesn't look like much but let me tell you it's delicious all right I'm gonna go ahead and add in some I'm using dark soy sauce I'm going to say a good tablespoon and a half, a little bit of honey, runny honey, you know who you are, I'm calling that a tablespoon and a half, I'm going to add some oyster sauce, I'm calling that a good tablespoon and let me give this a mix Keep cooking this for a little bit more. Now I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of green onion and finish with some sesame seeds. Look at this. Oh, it smells so good. A steal a piece because I can't wait this goes really good with rice oh my gosh stealing a piece mm. oh my god I forgot something I forgot my Korean pepper flakes now you can make this just like this and not have it be spicy but we need spice in our life I added a tablespoon. Woo -wee. <laughs> get ready. It's fixing to get hot in here. <laughs> Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Look at that. Mmm. Me tell you, I have a bowl of rice there, and I cannot wait. To sink my chops into this guys thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen hang in there because I'll be making some more banchan dishes that I think you're going to love okay guys I hope to see you next time because I promise to make another delicious recipe bye